Hello and welcome to another review of Drones Visual. Today, more than a review, I'll publish a video on how to build the new frame called Genius 215 from Real AC that is available at Banggood. Because building the frame can be a little bit time consuming and can result in a rather long video, I have decided to make three videos showing step by step how to build the frame and how to place all the electrical components on the frame, and finally, how to configure it in bed of light. In the first video, the only thing I will do is to build the frame itself and you'll be surprised about how simple it is to do this. Now, let me state from the beginning that I won't be using any sandpaper to get rid of any sharp edges in this frame, but as many of you know, this has become a common practice among, among many much more experienced people out there. So if you're going to do this, do it now before putting all the components together. Now, before starting to put everything together, let me quickly go over the parts included and uh, measure some of them. The first thing we get are these four carbon fiber arms that you can see over here. They should be able to take models that are 2200 and above. I personally uh, will be using 2206 uh, models with them. If we measure the thickness of the carbon fiber arms, we can see that they are approximately four millimeters as yeah, around four. If we take a look then at the length of the whole unit of the arm, we can see that they are about 117 millimeters. Those two openings over here uh, are for two screws that will secure each arm to the frame itself. And I will show you a little bit more about this later. The plate that you can see over here has an important role. Its function is to secure all four arms of the quad and it will be of course located at the bottom of the frame. The plate itself is about 1.5 millimeters and uh, basically if we measure the length we will see that it's 42 millimeters and because it's a square basically it will be uh, 42 on each side. As many of you have already guessed, uh, this over here is the bottom of the flame and uh, where most of the components will uh, rest on. Let's go ahead and measure it and as you can see it's about 2 millimeters. Then uh, the one over here is basically the upper plate and regarding the thickness, uh, you have guessed right, it's also two millimeters just uh, as the bottom plate. To place the FPV camera, we get two small uh, little tiny carbon fiber uh, plates that I didn't show you before, but they are over here and you can see there the opening to place the screw that holds the FPV camera. Uh, then the next thing is the, are the standoffs. You actually get four. Uh, there is one missing. It should be around here somewhere, so I'll find it later, but there are four. The length of the standoffs is of 35 millimeters, as you can see over here. Then to mount your power distribution board or the 4-in-1 ESCs, you get these metallic pieces that attach to the bottom plate, as I will show you a little bit later. And finally, we get all the screws. Uh, I got the, I got all of them mixed here uh, and I think, yeah, pretty much we can get started with the build itself. The first thing we should do is to separate the screws into groups as they are not all, uh, they don't have all the same size. So have them like this. Uh, if you're ready to build your quad completely, you could apply some uh, Loctite to the screws. Although all of the screws are actually accessible for tightening, but I don't think it's a bad idea to apply a little bit of Loctite uh, to some of the screws that you're going to be using. We can then proceed to place all the longer screws in the square plate that I showed you before. Once the screws are in place, you can then start placing the arms of the quad one by one. I repeat, I'm using, I'm using now the longer screws here. And then once we are done, we can go ahead and place the bottom two millimeter plate uh, on top. Uh, in this way, the front part of the quad is to the right and the rear part is basically to the left. The next thing we will do is then proceed to place uh, the metallic units separating the electrical components, uh, such as the power distribution board, from the bottom plate. There are four in total and the larger part goes to the outside of the frame, as you can see over here. Here you can see how it should look like once we have placed the four units uh, on the bottom plate. And then if we take a look at things from the other side, this is what we would see. So everything seems to be sticking together properly. Let's go ahead and place the screws, uh, the shorter screws that will be basically holding the standoffs. 
Uh, there should be four of them for each side. So basically four uh, for the bottom of the plate and uh, of the frame, sorry, and four for the top of the frame. Once the screws are in place, we can then uh, go ahead and start screwing the standoffs one at a time until uh, all four of them are in place. So, okay, let's go ahead now and place the second unit over here. I already found all of them actually. You wouldn't believe where the last one was hiding. So this is how uh, things should look like. Uh, we're then pretty much done, I think. Uh, let us first check that the holes match the standard openings for a flight controller or a power distribution board. And yeah, I mean, indeed, they seem to match the whole distance. So that's uh, good news. Let's then move to the final stage. And in the final stage, we'll proceed to place the holder or support for the FPV camera, which are these two light pieces of carbon fiber with an opening for a screw. Once we get them uh, both here in the right position, I hope, then we can pretty much take the final component of the frame, which is the upper two millimeter plate and start uh, placing it. Okay, let me try to fit it here. Uh, I think, yeah, I think this should be fine. Then four of the shorter screws will be supporting the upper plate. Notice that the support of the camera must go through the two openings on the front section of the upper plate. So yeah, I think we are pretty much done, yeah. This took no time. I think this is a really easy uh, frame to build. The frame by itself should weigh around 96 grams, I believe. Uh, one thing that I still need to decide is where to place the straps for the battery, uh, as there's not much space under the frame to do so. So, okay, this is my first video out of three or four that I'm planning to do uh, about this frame, you know, how to build it and how to place all the electronic components and things like that. So I think this is all for today. If you find my video useful in any way, uh, please just give me a thumbs up and drop me some comments. If you have any questions or would like to correct anything that I may have said, do not hesitate and drop me some comments. And then stay tuned for more videos of this build and I hope to see you all in my next video.